hey guys it's oogs welcome to the channel and thank you for watching in this video i'm gonna try to avoid all the usual suspect news the so-called news gossip and all that let's just stay away for a little while because i'm getting bored every time you try to make a different video people are going to leave in the comment to tell you oh tell us about Holland. tell us about hakimi don't talk about this and that i'm sorry man this is just not me i can't continue to to report the same things in different versions so the bottom line is nothing is happening let's wait and see what's gonna happen in the next hours unless we have some breaking news about them i'm not gonna talk about them today so let's start by saying um speedy recovery to the goat himself billy gilmo billy gilmo been tested positive to the virus i don't want to name the virus here because youtube might punish me but everybody knows the virus that i'm talking about he was tested positive it's very sad man it's very sad every time this boy tries to you know up his game to the next level it's always something that will come and stop his development for some reason sick of this man sick and tired of chelsea academy product always victim of something and you will find the dead wood they never got injured they never got the virus they are always there always there fit and ready but when it comes to the promising youngsters like bailey gilmore or you know um Kalium Hasunadoi or Ruben Love to Chick back in the day, it's always something that will come and ah, I don't understand, man. I don't understand who is spelling some curse on, on my boys. Anyways, Billy Gilmore been tested positive and he will be on isolation for 10 days. So if Scotland goes out of the euros and then it could be already the end of euros for billy gilmore it's very very sad and um like i said every time he tries to come back to the to the level that we know he can it's always something that will come remember under frank lampard when he was man of the match after man of the match and performances that came out of this world and all of a sudden injury immediately um an operation that took him out for almost five to six months something ridiculous like that but you know what sky is the limit with this boy billy gilmo and he will be back stronger and better we all know that uh, when you have the virus uh, you struggle to come back look at uh, kai harvard what happened to him after the virus he was physically weak mentally weak and he couldn't find his form until the end of the season pretty much but he scored in the final of the euro uh, of uh, europa league no we are not europa league team we are champions league team in the final of the champions league um and he he finished the uh the season stronger but not really the level he was going to have if he didn't get that evil virus so fingers crossed let's pray for timo verna that he can come back stronger and better people been also uh worried about what is happening to like uh, the the players that were close to him uh mason mount for example ben shewell and um and even Rhys james and pretty much both teams england and and scotland because they are close friends they they were laughing and they were you know they were too close to each other and all that but england result just came out and everybody is all right you know nobody uh is um positive or anything so mason mount and and uh, and other boys are good they're gonna continue euros only Bin billy gilmore is going to be isolated and some fake news also some fake account account um from scotland say that uh, you know many many players from the scottish um scottish scottish uh, national team also were positive but um some 
trusted sources say that those were like fake news so we still wait and see uh the result from uh the scottish uh, national team good luck to them and uh, let's wait and see what is going to happen when you first found out that you were going to be in the, the starting lineup tonight what your reaction was when did you find out who did you tell um I found we found out in training um, before we travelled down. We had a slight idea. We were doing shape and set pieces, and then it wasn't till actually we were coming to the game, the last meeting, we found out the team. Um, but I never, my mum and dad uh, only knew I was starting. I texted them, um, and that was it. When did you text them, Billy? Um, on on the bus to the game. So it was unbelievable, <laughs> and, and and I know it's you know you you must have heard that the, the fans, the Tartan Army, sh singing your name, one Billy Gilmore. You know your first full start at Wembley, a result of this, and then a reception like that. But how do you uh, how do you take that in your stride? Uh, it was amazing. The fans were incredible as well, singing from the first minute to the last. Uh, they they gave his massive boost. And then for us, the full team knew that we had to go on the pitch and uh, give the fans what they wanted. N'Golo Kante is going to be offered a new contract at Chelsea Football Club to reward him for his uh, awesome work in the club. It just tells you how quickly things can change in football. I remember last season where everybody was talking about selling him because he's... Uh, old and apparently injury prone every time i made a video back then defending engolo kante all the comment you get is like oh you are clueless you don't know what you're talking about engolo kante need to to go we need ndidi we need such and such young and powerful blah 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 i hope somebody learned a lesson and stop being reactionary so according to Fabrizio Romano, negotiations are starting already. So for uh, French people, you know, the PSG fans who've been telling me that Engolo is going to sign for you. Maybe he's going to sign for you when he's 40 years old or something because Engolo is here to stay. <laughs>